Hello. Since there were complications with the WP admin page, um, I made it simple by adding a sign up, sign in right here on the front end of the page. Um, so customers can sign up as uh, subscribers and that way they can always use the same login and keep track of their orders. Um, but you and uh, the doc will have administrative access to the back end of the shopping cart. So I'm going to send you the credentials along with the link to this video. Uh, I changed your password. So um, by default, it's remembering mine. So once you log in, it should remember yours from then on. And then, you know, new users can register for the site uh, as customers. And then you can also reset your password here uh, with this new field. So I'm going to log in. You're just going to put in your username and password and click Remember Me. And then it'll show you that you're logged in here. So from this point, you will now see this top gray bar when you're logged in. You can click on Trio Life Vitamin Mineral EFA Supplement to go to the dashboard. Here you can see site statistics. You can see sales summary, sales by month, and um, if you want to, if you see that there's orders and you want to, you know, uh, see what the order is, how much, and who to ship it to, you just go over here to the sidebar here on the left, and you go to store sales. Um, so here, if there is an order, it will have a order ID, a customer name, amount status and date. Um, you can also download CSV files um, which will download an, an Excel spreadsheet uh, with all the information as you get more orders uh, to keep track and download uh, all of the order statistics for tax purposes and things like that. Um, so that's pretty much the gist of uh, how to use the shopping cart and um, uh, we'll go ahead and do a preview. <coughs> Um, let's say I go to the products and I order one year supply of the VM and a one year supply of the EFA. Two items in my cart and I check out. Proceed to checkouts. Fill out all this information. take me to PayPal and I can complete the transaction. So when I go back over here, it'll show one order. Even though I didn't complete it, I went to the final step. So I think it should show up here in store sales. Yeah, you see? Um, so this is what it would look like. Order ID number five name, my email address, the amount of the order, incomplete sale because I didn't go through the PayPal process. Um, so if you want you can always email someone with an incomplete sale to make sure that um, they didn't make a mistake or they thought that they completed it but they didn't. Um, you can just shoot them an email because the email field is required when checking out. If you click on this the amount and the items total it will take you to a page with more information like the mailing address phone number and a breakdown of their order so then you can view packing slip which is pretty nice you can just print that out uh, and send to the customer with their shipment uh, less work for you it shows how they paid, how much, billing address, shipping address. Looks nice and professional. Um, so that's view packing slip. And resend receipt to buyer. When you check out, it sends them an automated uh, email confirmation of their order. Uh, so if someone emails you saying that they never got the confirmation, you could always click here to resend the receipt 
to the buyer. You can remove it from records, you can go back. You can also add order notes if need be. Uh, you probably won't need that though, um, but that's pretty much how the shopping cart works. So watch this a couple times and you'll get the hang of it. Um, that's it. Enjoy.